The Tampa Police Department is asking the public for help identifying this person of interest in the investigation into who's responsible for three murders within 10 days of one another in the Seminole Heights neighborhood of Tampa. Police say this new surveillance video was taken on October 9th. This shows a man in a hoodie running away from the scene of the first murder. The video was taken on a street close to the shooting and around the same time as the crime. Police believe this man has ties to the neighborhood and could be key to solving all three murders, but is not necessarily a suspect. I've come up with four reasons why this person is running. One, they may be late for dinner. Two, they're out exercising. Three, they heard gunshots. And number four, they just murdered Benjamin Mitchell. And notice this video. It shows him flipping his phone with his right hand, which police say could be a habit that could help identify this person. Sandra Crime Stoppers Tampa Bay is offering a $35,000 reward to anyone with information that leads to an arrest. Uh, Brian, why do they believe these three murders are all related? All three of the victims were shot within a half mile of one another. All three were alone and not robbed when they were killed. And all three were reportedly bus riders. On October 9th, 22-year-old Benjamin Mitchell on your screen left was shot waiting for a bus. Two days later, 32-year-old Monica Hoffa was murdered. And on October uh, 19th, Anthony Niboa, a 20-year-old mildly autistic man, was shot dead on the sidewalk just 200 yards from where Benjamin was killed. Police are knocking on doors. They are patrolling the neighborhood. Tampa Bay Mayor Bob Buck imploring his officers yesterday to, quote, bring his head to me in terms of the person who's responsible for all three murders.